What a challenge to be shown love in a world that does not accept you as a whole person. Only fractions. This isn't geometry. This is biology. My genetics should never, ever determine my genetics, the way I move within this world. Philosophy, the way I use these words, should only do one thing, bring us closer, and not further apart. This day was identified purposely to commemorate the work of Dr. Martin Luther King. It is in this spirit that we are drawn to this work, this hopeful process that is driven by truth, belonging, stories as a way to make change. Again, there's been a targeted intentionality on making sure that our communities stay divided, that they stay um, poor, that they stay without many economic opportunities. That structural violence and all of those disinvestments and those inequities have created a fertile ground for the conditions that we see now in Chicago. We can no longer remain isolated. We can no longer remain disconnected. But when we come together, that allows us to envision a future where we are genuinely coming together for a broader and more hopeful tomorrow. My whole journey, my whole being here is deeply, deeply personal. And all of you have that personal whatever it is that you care about. Don't abdicate that experience to someone else and hope that they get it right for you. My hopes for the Greater Chicago TRHT are that we have every single major foundation, institution, public entity to get engaged and not only send your second, third, fourth people in command, send leaders and then some people deep in organizations to get involved in this work. I mean, that's really my hope because only through this engagement of, uh, with each other uh, for this common good that we believe is racial healing and truth and transformation can we make this city reach its fullest potential. <laughs>